So we're on our way now to the flower market and this is so exciting because they have so many flowers, so many gorgeous flowers for Chinese New Year that we're gonna go buy. There's so many people who are gonna be there and it's just like a really exciting annual thing that happens in Hong Kong every year during Chinese New Year. So take you all along with me. So what are we gonna what are, what are we gonna try to get today? Flowers. <laughs> and flowers. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna be following my mom because I think my mom has a plan on what she wants to get exactly. But you can already see here, there's so many pretty orchids for us to choose. How gorgeous. So why do we get flowers for Chinese New Year? Because it's Chinese custom that have a saying called Fa Hoi Fu Bai in Cantonese which means if you have your flowers in blossom you will have many monetary returns including that you are rich, famous and you are valuable So that's why it's tradition for Chinese people to get fresh flowers for the house for Chinese New Year That's right I love this one, this color of orchid is so pretty My mom is still trying to figure out which orchid that she's feeling. Okay, we got an orc, we got the orchids. Let's see what's next. What are we getting next? So aside from the flowers, there's also these things behind us that are called peach blossoms. Peach blossom in Cantonese is tokfa. This is very good, especially for those who do business, because there is a greeting saying dai jin hong tong, meaning that you have the red peach blossom, it uh, resound like dai jin hong tong, meaning you have good business expansion, good business return, good business <laughs> development. So we actually came on a pretty good day today. It is a Friday afternoon and I think most people are still at work right now so it's not too crowded at the moment. But usually starting tonight, loads of people come to the flower market here in Victoria Park and it is absolutely packed. So good thing that we came early because we beat the crowd. Oh my god, look at what she just showed up with. An entire box of flowers. Alright, flower shopping is done. <laughs> A few moments later So we're getting ready for our Chinese New Year Eve dinner But I just wanted to show you all some really cute Chinese New Year decorations that my mom put around So it is the year of the rabbit that we are celebrating for 2023 And, and a lot of the decorations that my mom got to put around the house have cute little rabbit motifs So I'm gonna show all of you So here's what she has on the TV console I just think this is so cute, look at that and then over here, she put the orchids um, right in this table here, and it's so pretty. Look at this Chinese line that she put in the center as well. But yeah, so basically we are currently at home getting ready for a family dinner tonight with my mom's side of the family. So my aunts and my cousins are all coming over to our house tonight to have pun choy. And inside it there's things like pork, beef, chicken, lamb, duck, abalone, daikon, bamboo shoots, just a bunch of things. But my mom basically ordered pun choy from I think a restaurant and they had it delivered to our place today. So we are currently heating that up and waiting for everyone to arrive.
happy Chinese New Year, wishing all of you happy year of the rabbit. So today is the start of Chinese New Year and I'm trying to figure out what to wear. And for me, I'm trying to find something that's red because it's a little bit more traditional. And red is typically a lucky color in Chinese culture because it symbolizes good luck and success. So I do have something that I got from Zara. If you saw in my earlier Hong Kong vlogs, I bought a red top that I thought I would style for Chinese New Year. but. I don't know what to wear on the bottom, so let's try to figure that out together. Okay, so this might be a little bit hard to see or to tell, but basically this is the top, but I just don't know what to wear on the bottom. But this is basically the whole outfit I got. So this is the top from Zara. And then for my bottoms, I am wearing my lioness skirt. And then I got these heels from the Katy Perry collection that they gifted me. And Watching how you move Someone's staring at me Like where I see Got our favorite station Taking in your fragrance That's an easy way to Unboxing with my dad Let's see Wow This is Lobaco which is turnip cake My favorite so we're now on our way to go to my grandma's place for another family New Year gathering. Are you so excited, buddy? <laughs> Good day yesterday. Was it so much fun? You got all your licey packets. What's up? So it is currently a Monday, aka Chinese New Year day two. And today is also pretty significant because we're basically having a lunch with my dad's side of the family to open up the new year. I think in Cantonese it's called Hoi Lin Fan. So I'm gonna bring you all along with me, but first I wanna show you all my outfit of the day. But basically I'm keeping it pretty casual today. Um, inside I have my tank top from Zara, my pants from Naked, and then this jacket I'm really excited about because because it was a birthday gift that I got for myself last year. It's a vintage Prada jacket that I got from The Real Real, and when I got this I was like, this is perfect for Chinese New Year. So for my shoes, I'm thinking about wearing these pumps that I got from Katy Perry Collection because they're actually really, really comfortable. Let's go! So I just got back home after all the Chinese New Year festivities and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean so much to me if you would click the subscribe button. And until then, I will see you all in the next vlog.